Anyway, let's not bring the sh let's not keep the chef waiting. Uh, chef Josh Sharer. Am I saying his name right? Does that, am I saying your name right, Sharer? Oh yeah, you're nailing it. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> he says you're nailing it. <laughs> That's for the first. Yeah. So of good myth, the Good Mythical Kitchen has kindly offered, uh, graciously offered, to cook us the kebab pizza that Love has been going on and on about. N nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. Here, come have a seat. Chef Josh, is that is that? Uh, the yeah, place yeah, Chef so Josh. Call me mythical Chef Josh. It's like a, what do you like better? Hey, mythical Chef Josh is good. Yeah, a little put a little uh, respect on it. Thank you. <laughs> so we have here mythical Chef Josh. Now this looks incredible. Love, does this look right to you? Because that looks bomb. yes, that looks very, very good. And then tell that me, looks... tell me about the meat on that, because it so, looks like yeah. The meat on that. Zach sent us like a, an incredibly specific. Uh, I want to call it like a fact sheet on everything that should be on a kebab pizza. Uh, he said the meat is typically pork, and he said it wasn't like the gyro meat that they shave off. And so mm -hmm. we did like mm. a pork shawarma. And we actually like bought a shawarma machine from Amazon. Uh, we stacked it all up. We marinated it in like the onion juice, all the spices. All right. Oh my god! Shaved it off, made the sauce fresh, made the dough extra thin, all Swedish style. God, I yes, wish you were here to it. try this. Love. I actually made that that document right there, so yes, that so was truly authentic. If you followed that, yes. yo, this is so good. And then tell me about the sauce. So uh, the sauce. I mean, no one knows what's in any kebab sauce, right? Like it varies. It really is a secret. Place. Uh, but I mean, we went with a little bit of like uh, thinned out yogurt with water, some spices, uh, chopped up cucumber, uh, a little bit of bell pepper, and mayonnaise. Damn. And uh, a little great. lemon juice. Thank you, man. We also made a bonus pizza. Because if you're talking about Swedish pizza, I feel like you can't not talk about the shrimp, banana, oh, yeah. and curry pizza. Wait, is there cheese on this? Yeah, but uh, dude said like not too much cheese. Is that it, right, love? The, the Yun Shoping yep. style. Mm, so we, we tried to get it dude. as authentic as possible. Oh my god. I must say, it looks very, very <laughs> accurate. Like, Wait, extremely accurate. Wait, you guys accurate. grab a slice. Hold on, I'm gonna get a shot. Yeah, please, man. Dude, this is incredible. Thanks, dude. Look at that. Oh, yeah, oh, that, that looks, looks perfect, perfect, actually, yes. So you got pork, mm -hmm. which has, like, the kebab flavor. Yeah, yeah. The kebab sauce, mm -hmm. light cheese, light sauce. It's actually, I mean, it's pretty simple. Uh, Swedish-style pizza, like, you got that super thin, crackery crust on it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got mm -hmm. a little bit of, like, dough conditioner in the dough to kind of make it extra light. Damn. I mean, it's like, damn near like a Domino's thin crust pizza. Did you try it? I haven't even, dude, I haven't even eaten this yet. Yeah, try it. <laughs> Come get a slice. Who wants to try this? Come on. Um, I don't, you don't eat pork. I don't eat pork. But Grab me one, Eddie. What the fuck? Friggin' talk. Everyone's sleeping on the shrimp and banana pizza, though. Y'all don't want that oh, one? Oh, shit. Is that what that yeah, is? Yeah, shrimp banana curry powder, dude. This is like Swedish pizza extraordinaire. This is that is right, love? Yep. The, the shrimp yes. and banana? Do you fuck with that? Uh, well, I don't want to be picky, but usually I, I have never heard of the shrimp on there. It's very possible that there's a version of it, but uh, that style of pizza is very typical in Sweden. With banana. Yes. So With banana curry. In college, I had a bunch of Swedish friends, uh, mostly from, from Malmö. And like mm -hmm. the shit they would put together for their meals, they'd be like, oh, we're having taco night. And then they'd just dump like canned <laughs> pineapple and like water chestnuts and top it with like yogurt. You'd be like, this is tacos. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, I yes. have no idea how this translates, but that's rad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So Mexico chef, is very uh, far myth away from Sweden, so. So mythical really uh, chef Matt, uh, Matthew, Matt. Matthew or Matt? Who, me? Bro, neither one of those. Oh, no. Why did I say Matt? Josh? Where did Matthew come? I'm sorry. I don't know, man. Evan, dude, it's been a long day, man. <laughs> Evan? <laughs> it's good. Um, you went to culinary school? What, what, how did you end up working for the guys? Didn't do that at all. I, um, I just, like, get drunk in college and make really stupid foods. Mm. And I started a blog about it. Mm. And then someone gave me, like, a book deal. Uh, really? Which is pretty wild. Yeah, yeah. So your, your uh, blog must have been pretty, pretty, uh, no, not at all. No one read it. That's the crazy thing. Hmm. I, it won like an award from a magazine for some reason. I would write just like the dumbest shit. Um, a lot of it was kind of comedy writing, right? Like one thing I wrote was about the Velocity diet because the paleo diet was really big at the time. And I was like, fuck that, bro. You got to go to the next level and only eat what a Velociraptor would, would eat. Which and is so, what? You know, oh, just like, yeah, whole sides of animals, which is funny because now you have the carnivore diet that people are actually doing. That's real, yeah. So I guess I was just ahead of my time with that. You were. But, but yeah, and then... um. I've been working for Rhett and Link about four and a half years now. Oh, wow. Two years ago, we launched our own channel, uh, Mythical Kitchen. 
and uh, we're just we're just doing it. Awesome, amazing. Mm -hmm. Josh, this slaps, dude. Dude, this thank you, man. This is insane. Yeah. And by the way, the way you cook the meat, it's like perfectly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that little bit of like char seared off. On it. Yeah, yeah. So good. Thank you, baby. I, I wish just, I was there to taste it. You want to some banana? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's some good stuff. This so is I don't so usually good. eat shrimp, but I'm gonna do it. You is it a is it a kosher thing? No. I was a chag sameach, by the way. Oh yeah, a fellow. A fellow. Chag sameach. <laughs> I get a shot of that one too. Okay. Now this is very. People yell at me for pineapple on the pizza. Banana mm -hmm. on the pizza is fucking insane. Yeah, it's not good. Like it's it's pretty. I can't say it's bad, good. Right? Yeah, I can't say it's good. I'm normally one of those people that's like any flavor that you enjoy, anything can go together. No, there's like not a worse combination of foods to me than shrimp, <laughs> banana, and curry. What would you do? Like, what's worse than this? Shit. There's a like human shit, right? That's, yeah, just, human that's the shit. next level after shrimp, banana, and curry. Human feces. I mean, I'll still eat it, but like, you know, I'm not happy. Right, about it's it. pizza. Like, I'll eat any pizza, oh. and this is proof of it. Mm -hmm. I can't do it. No. I just took it off. No, I'm really. sorry. So, how did you end up uh, working for them? You went from, you wrote this book. Mm -hmm. Was the book successful? What was it called? Not at all. No, no, no. It was called, it was called the Culinary Brodown Cookbook. That was the, uh, the, the name of the blog. Um, but at the time, still for sale? People still buying it? Yeah, people, you can buy it on Amazon or, or like some other better retailer. You, you know? get paid when they buy it? No, I think it's got to out earn the royalties. But if enough people buy it, eventually it'll get like six cents. What's the best thing for people to do to support you right now? Oh, uh, best thing to do. Um, one, we're nominated for two Webbies right now. That's pretty solid. Uh, and uh, Mythical Kitchen is nominated for the uh, food and drink video. That's pretty rad. And then uh, my podcast with my co-host, Nicole Anayati, is called A Hot Dog is a Sandwich. That's nominated for the Arts and Cultures. Uh, yeah, go watch the videos. Subscribe to TikTok. We're doing that. We pissed off a lot of people speaking of pizza with a, uh, we made a Spokane-style pizza, which is not a real thing. We are just doing a goof. We are just new boot goofing out there. And we put strawberries and salmon on it. <laughs> new boot goofing, baby. And um, a lot of people from Spokane thought it was real. Uh, and really piss them off. So if you go like, um, I don't know, talk shit to somebody from Spokane, that'd be big. That's good. Right Fuck them. Yeah, right. I know it's it's basically Idaho. Like, get out of here. I noticed. I noticed you didn't even finish it. Are you on a diet? What's happening? No, or is I'm it not a, on a diet. It's, is it's it talking. You don't want talking. Pretty much. I can yeah. I can really stuff it. No, I was just curious because you. Now yeah. I feel guilty. Well, it's your pizza. I don't, I don't know. It's your own food. <laughs> yeah, you're the chef. I mean, if it hurts your own feelings. <laughs> Very good. You guys try the banana one? Oh, there's only two. Me, only me, him, only we've tried the banana one. Right, come get the bananas. You got no excuse on the banana shit, AB. Get I over to, here. You got to spar later. I can't. Oh my God! You got to pack on the way. I'm gonna do a quarter empty. You <laughs> fucking villain! Eat the pizza. <laughs> Nobody. Cameron. Sam. Yeah. Pieces. It's bulking season, boys. Come on. Yeah. We'll get in there. I Absolutely. would crush that banana pizza, dude. Yeah, well, I'd like to try it. Lo, I wish you were here. I think you would love this pizza. Uh, so, the sauce... So okay, so let's be a little bit more, like, analytical. Mm -hmm. The sauce didn't sound quite right. Mm -hmm. uh, just... The, the sauce has a little bit of garlic, and I've heard rumors that there's Fanta in the sauce. Fanta? That sounds wild, right? Yeah. Interesting. Is I it orange? I've had three people call, uh, DM me since we started talking Thank about you, it and say that it's Fanta in there. Dude, Another that's thing insane. I've heard that's is, a huge twist. Yeah, I'm boycotting I've Fanta heard... Nazi soda. <laughs> no. <laughs> no shit. Yeah, yeah. Still to this day? Fanta was, well, I mean, you know, but the origins, you know. We're still so boycotting Fanta. Heard... Oh, yeah. I like that. I've you also heard there's, like, jalapeno juice. When you have like AB, get the AB, you fucking bell on, We did. Dude. We put pickle juice in it, but no jalapeno. Oh, juice. you did? Mm -hmm. Oh, the, no. Oh, so juice. basically, the juice from jalapenos they put in there, the juice from pineapple, it's a bunch of different Weird. rumors that's going around. Uh, but yeah, I gotta say, what if they're fake though? What if it's like a red herring? Like they're trying to get people to make shit here. Yeah, it's it's very possible. I'm not denying that at all. It's very, very possible. I yes. gotta say that the mythology around this sauce is pretty incredible. That nobody. Mm -hmm has yet unlocked the secrets. Like, there's not one guy, kebab sauce maker, who went to Google and it's like, here's the deal, here's how you make it. That's the thing with any food, yeah. though, right? Uh, the, you know, secret herbs and spices in KFC. You can combine, like, 11 of any herbs and spices and it'll pretty much taste close to MSG, as long as you, or pretty close to KFC. As long as you have, like, salt, fat, and MSG and things, it's gonna taste really good, hmm. you know? So you're saying the... Oh, for real? Sam, take it home. All of it, oh, yours. 
Yeah, I'm a fan. Yeah. I'm a fan of it too. It's kind of slaps, dude. I, yeah, I absolutely good, right? love this kebab pizza. All your brains are broken. Who like that banana and shrimp pizza? It's check it. You may have had a concussion recently. Don't go to sleep. It like <laughs> yeah, yeah. It you may not wake up. It shouldn't work, but it kind of does. <laughs> I don't know. Right. Well, what can I say? It's been a great, uh, fun time. I'm so thankful that you came, and and I actually got to try this kebab pizza that I personally thought was in incredible. Wow, thank you. Of course, Re man. Really thanks, talented. Thanks for I, think, me. I think you could outsource, I Gordon. Agree. If Gordon. you want to set up the cook-off, man, we'll we'll do it in the parking lot out here. Set up a couple burners, mano a mano. We'll okay. do like a triathlon wrestle cook <laughs> yeah <laughs> and then uh, we'll figure out a third leg so if you want to wrestle me in a tub of home no. days we can do that i don't know i'm just saying it might be fun no right. pass that's cool <laughs> you definitely seem like you could take me in a in a in a physical altercation i i'm deceptively soft i got weak <laughs> no. limbs yeah well yeah you throw out barely, right. barely have a little bit even yeah. i barely have operating muscles at this point so <laughs> i'm pretty sure i'm basically gumby at this point <laughs> Josh, well, what was uh, what was your podcast one more time? Oh yeah, oh, plugs. There you go. Oh yeah, plugs, plugs. Uh, Mythical Kitchen on YouTube, uh, and that's the same on Instagram, TikTok, all that. And Mythical podcast, Kitchen. Yep, yep. And then podcast is called A Hot Dog Is a Sandwich. Uh, Hot Dog Is a Sandwich. Podcast. We yeah. have two slices of this banana shrimp. Who wants? Uh, who wants? Uh, Sam. Don't really. Don't make Sam this really man. dug it, and uh, Zach seemed to really dig no, it. No, but so. don't let this man take any food out of here. Okay? I don't okay. want any. Yeah, okay. I've already drank three of them. Come retrieve it right now. Oh, you did? Those are so good. So good. They J hit the formula just right. Dude, oh my god, Coke Zero. Good science, good science. J Josh, can How's I ask How's it you? working for those, uh, those Rhett and Link characters? Because those guys aren't roll with the iron fist, man. They are cruel, cruel dudes. Oh, yeah, I mean, after the daily lashing, it's like not, it's not bad. We got like an aloe station, you know, that we all just rub each other Oh, well, that's nice. Uh, no, it's what cool, the man. Fuck? They're great. Amy? They do. Amy's trying to grab my slice? Yo, yeah, what the Amy's fuck? You don't do that around here. Amy, a what? You out of your mind, these people. <laughs> Crazy. Anyway, Crazy yeah, they're great guys, and and uh, that's great. I'm glad you all are working together. So nice to meet you. Likewise, likewise. Mythical Kitchen everywhere. Please, with peace and love, follow our good friend and fuck Gordon Ramsay. Thank you for the pizza. So good. Course, Thank you, man. Uh, Thanks for coming. Thank you very much, Josh. Thank you. Pound it. Thank you, Josh. What happened? You're in. I was deadlifting. Deadlifting, something just pulled, man. I got MRIs tomorrow. I'll keep you updated. You see, this is the problem. This guy exercising, he's deadlifting, and he's he's walking around like a convalescent. My fat ass, I ain't got no body pain. No back pain, you see? Thanks, man. You're the greatest. That was five. Wow, amazing. I'm, I'm so sad, love, that you couldn't try this. Yeah, it, yes, I, I am also very sad about that. But... but it looks very good. It looks very, very, very accurate. I feel like this sauce tastes like right. I feel like it tastes right. Because I've, I've tried to say this. Maybe I was unclear in the past, but the sauce on there is not necessarily the best sauce. There is better sauces for like different things, but that sauce is so perfect in that context that it just ties everything together so well. It tastes like a yeah. mayonnaise yogurt thing. Just hearing what, what we're in it, I doubt it's the same, but I, I'm not trying to bash him. I wish uh, we could jar, jar it and send it to you and find out.